Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can disable automatic Windows update in Windows 10, both Home and Pro editions. There are several possible reasons why you may want to do this. It could be that like most people, you are not yet confident enough to upgrade to the latest Windows 10 build. That's the October 1809 update, obviously for fear of losing your data or some other malfunctions. And as some of you might have already observed, Microsoft has suspended the rollout of this update. That's the 1809 update. So if you visit the Media Creation Tool download page as of today, you will discover that the latest tool there is for the April update. Another reason why you may want to disable automatic Windows update could be to save on data usage, especially if you are using a limited internet subscription and therefore won't want to waste data downloading some update you might not need. Or for just some other reasons, you don't want your system automatically downloading and installing updates. Then the procedure in this video could come in really handy. Here I'll be showing you how to disable the automatic Windows update feature and also how to re-enable it whenever you choose to do so. Obviously, some updates help to keep your PC safe by installing the latest security features to your Windows. So you may want to re-enable this feature after some time. Or better still, perform the process manually instead of automatically. I'll be showing you how to do that also in this video. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so depending on what edition of Windows 10 you are using, this process could differ a bit from one edition to another. Here I'm going to start off with the Pro Edition. Now by default, the Pro Edition provides you an easy way to temporarily disable or pause automatic Windows update on your PC. However, this option comes with an obvious limitation, which is the fact that it's temporal. Hence, it only pauses automatic updates for a certain period of time. However, before going to a more advanced means of disabling automatic updates permanently or till you decide to turn it back on, let's check and see if this temporal measure provides enough functionality to serve your purpose for wanting to disable automatic updates. For that, go to your search and type update. Then click on Windows Update Settings from the search results. A page like this should pop up. Here, click on Advanced Options. And that should take you to this advanced update settings page. On this page, you will find a number of options to customize how your PC handles Windows updates. For instance, this second option here, which says automatically download updates, even over MeTAT data connection, enables you to turn off automatic updates to save up on data. So this could be a go-to option if you are using limited network connection or some kind of pay-per-use data plan. This option is turned off by default, so it won't download updates over such connections. However, before this option can be effective, you will need to define what connections are metered. I won't be covering that in this video, but I will be leaving a link in the description to help you with that. The setting we are more interested in here is the post update setting. Here it allows you to temporarily prevent Windows Update from being installed after downloading. So this doesn't prevent Windows Update from downloading, it only prevents the installation of downloaded updates. As you can see here, it will only do that for a maximum of 35 days. So if your need to disable automatic Windows update is only for such duration, then turning on this setting would be all you need to do. Going further down the page, you will see some additional settings on when you want to install such updates. Previously, you would have this in the form of date and time, but now it sets it in number of days for up to 365 days. It's also broken down into two categories. First is the new capabilities and improvements, and second is the security improvements. So here you can choose how long to keep each of these categories of updates before installation. Now before going into how to permanently disable automatic Windows updates, let's see what the difference is with the Home Edition. So going to the Windows 10 Home Edition, just as we did in the Pro Edition, go to your search and type updates. Then select Windows Update Settings from the search results. Here click on Advanced Options. And as you can see, the Home Edition doesn't give most of the options we just saw from the Pro Edition. However, here it also allows you the option of preventing automatic updates over metered connection. So you can save up on data using this option. But again, you will need to define your metered network connections before this would be effective. So technically, the Home Edition doesn't allow you to pause automatic updates through these settings. So to either pause or permanently disable automatic updates till you choose to re-enable it again, you will need to go a bit deeper into the settings. This next procedure is applicable to both the Pro and Home Editions. Here it allows you to either temporarily disable automatic updates or to permanently disable it till you choose to enable it again. To do that, go to your Windows Start, right-click and select Task Manager. 
on the task manager page click on the services tab at the bottom pane here you will see where it says open services click on it then you should have your services page pop up on this page scroll down and search for windows update and double click on it now you should have this windows update properties dialog box here my service status says running meaning that the automatic update is currently active so to change that i will need to first stop it by clicking on stop now this will stop the automatic update until I restart my computer. As soon as I restart, the automatic Windows update will start running again. To prevent that from happening, go to where it says Startup Type and click on the drop down. Here choose what startup type is suitable for you. Here you have the automatic delayed which means that it will start automatically after your Windows is fully up and running. That way it won't cause any delays during startups. Then you have the automatic which means it will start up as Windows boots up. The manual option allows you to choose when to run this service, so technically it shouldn't run until you go to click on the check for update button in Windows update page. However, sometimes you will find your Windows checking for updates even when you haven't clicked on this button. So to effectively stop automatic Windows update, you will need to select the option disabled. Then click on apply and hit ok to complete the process. Now once this is set to disabled, then even if you go to click check for update from the update page, your Windows won't be able to run this service, hence it won't be able to check for updates. So if you are having problems checking for updates at any point in time, you should check this setting and ensure that it hasn't been stopped by any means. Now to re-enable automatic updates, simply come back to these settings and select either automatic or automatic delay depending on which is more suitable for you. Now there is one more approach of stopping automatic updates in Windows 10 but this is applicable to only the Pro Edition. Here we will be editing the group policy to prevent such automatic updates from running. For that go to your search and type group policy. Then click on edit group policy from the search results. A page like this should pop up. Here click on administrative templates. Then double click on Windows component. Here scroll down to the bottom of the page where it says Windows Update and double click on it. Then on this page, check for where it says Configure Automatic Updates and double click on it. Then you should have a window like this pop up. It says here Configure Automatic Updates. On this window, first click on Enable to activate these other options. Then here under Configure Automatic Updating, click on the drop down and select the option that is most suitable for you. On the right pane here, you have the detailed description of each of these options. Here we are interested in the option 2 which is to notify for download and auto install. This will send you notification of updates but will give you the option to either download these updates or not. And if you choose to download it, it will also give you the option to either install or not install these updates after downloading. Other options allow you to automate either or both of these options, so you could choose whichever you find more suitable. Below here you also have some other options you could use to narrow down your settings even further. But here we will stick to the second option and click apply. Then hit ok. Now you need to go ahead and restart your PC for these changes to take effect. Hope this was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.